Welcome back everyone. If it's your first time, welcome on my channel. My name is Executor. Today we are going to solve an issue. I have been receiving a lot of questions from people on how to use Thor, how to use Thor and get on the dark web. I've been receiving a lot of questions and I've been telling telling you guys the same thing so you know what and I just decided to just make a, a quick video and just explain uh, explain it so that we all are on the same page but first of all a quick disclaimer so as I have already mentioned quite a few times on this channel I do not condone illegal activities and um, please do not use the skills you learn on this channel for illegal activities if uh, if you end up getting caught do not say my name so everything i teach you is for educational purpose and i say again use these skills for educational purpose only if you're a cyber security student and uh, like myself and you want you know i mean you have a, a reason to to learn all these you know all these these skills so if one day you want to be able to you know chase criminals you know you're gonna have to be able to think like criminals and know how to use all these tools so it's quite normal that you're gonna want to learn you know about the dark web and how to get to it and you know your privacy you know all that good stuff but i just wanted to make it clear so we are all on the same page you do not use these skills for anything illegal please so that being said, let's move on with the topic of uh, today. I will just be teaching you guys how to get on the dark web, or at least how to get Tor, you know, up and running. So without further ado, let's get started. I am currently uh, recording from my Kali Linux laptop. So what we're gonna do is uh, let me just quickly go on the browser here. So if you are using any debian based operating system you should uh, and you don't have tor already installed so you simply just go to this website over here snapcraft.io and just search for tor search for tor and uh, that's it you uh, this is tor right here so you just click it and um, hit install and it's gonna give you the uh, the command this command here so you just use this command in your terminal and that's it you'll have tor installed now you also have uh, the option to install it through flat hub you just search tor over here and this is tor for you right here the tor browser browser over here you just click it hit install and it's gonna take you to no you don't want to download uh you don't want to download it just uh the easiest way to do it is through the terminal so just scroll all the way down here and just copy this command right here and copy and just go to your terminal it's just like installing uh, a snap from uh, snapcraft.io so just go on the terminal let me just um increase the size of this so first you just try your usual sudo update your usual sudo update and make sure all your packages are updated and good to go and then after that you run your sudo up upgrade to make sure everything is good to go and uh, any package or re uh, repository that needs to be updated is updated and uh, you just run the command that you copied and uh, as soon as you run it if you don't have it it's just gonna install it for you easy peasy you just have to answer like one or two yeses and that's it and as you can see, I already have it running in my computer. So I'm going to just close this one back up and we're going to just go ahead and uh, I'll show you guys how to get Tor up and running. Tor. Right here. And as you can see, this is where the problem is, right? So as you can see here, I'm trying to connect and it's not connecting. It's just going to be hanging just like that. And I assume if uh, I assume if you don't have the skills, you probably also just be you know this is what you also see every time you try to connect to Tor. 
So, and it doesn't matter whether you want it always connect automatically, that has nothing to do with it. So, you see this connecting, it's gonna, it's gonna be hanging like that. And uh, some of you probably just go in the settings and try to just do whatever, change privacies and um, proxies and all the good stuff, but nothing works for you. Nothing works. And if you try to search anything, google.com for example, and uh, it's gonna be hanging like that. It's not gonna. It's not gonna load. So you you can't connect uh, connect to a, a Tor relay. So the reason why this is happening is because if you see this, if you have this specific problem, that simply means your ISP blocked Tor by default, and you don't even know. This is what that means. So because my current, my router, my router and should say none of them block Tor and none of the ECLs, none of the uh, firewalls block Tor. I, do not conf I did not configure a, a, a rule to block the connection to Tor. So, but why is this happening? And that's what many of you guys also wonder. It's because your ISP blocked Tor and that's, that's, that's the only reason why. So that's the only reason why your ISP without your consent, without even telling you, automatically blocked it by default. And you didn't know. So and I'm gonna prove it to you. That's why you need a, you need to have a VPN to 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 use Tor. So every time you wanna use Tor, you have to always first think of a VPN. If you don't have a VPN installed, look on um look look on my previous video. I, I made a video showing you guys how to install a VPN and um in, soon as you have that VPN running and then you always get on that VPN before you try to connect uh, the Tor browser otherwise you're just wasting your time so let's try it huh I'm gonna go to my VPNs I have quite a few VPNs over here as you can see and uh, I'll just use uh, this one right here and as you can see it's on so every time you you successfully activate your VPN this is how you look it locks it encrypt your connection your your traffic is encrypted so now let's go back and find uh, the uh, Tor browser. And now we're going to try to connect. It's going to be it's going to it's going to first have a lot of issues establishing a connection, but as you can see, it automatically just sometimes it may take a while for you know for 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 the traffic to go through the uh, the VPN and all that and 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 have all the proxies go, uh, all the proxies good to go all the relays connected but most of the time it's um this 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 is what you do this is pretty much it you see we got in tor and you know we got tor going in no time but it's because we're using a VPN we're using VPN our that means that technically means our ISP doesn't even know that we are currently on tor see because we are on the VPN and the traffic is encrypted so and um, this is what you want to always keep in mind. You always want to have your VPN on first before you even attempt to go on the dark web. So this is, uh, this, this is all I wanted to show you guys really because I'm not here to show you guys how to, you know, how to do illegal things on the dark web. But for your curiosity, you can just say, um, so let's see. I'll show you guys um, a few, few things here. Give me a second. Let me see. Okay, so you're gonna search, for example, uh, 10 best. 10 best .onion sites on the dark web. So just so you know, if you you are a new student and you're still learning, you don't you know you're still uh, you know on your early ages and you don't know you don't have a lot of skills with the dark web. You um, you wanna always make sure. You want to always make sure that uh, you you find the you know the dot onion sites. You have to if you really want to know if you're on the dark web, that you have to be like the extension of the website has to be dot uh, onion, and that's no that's how you know that you are you are you are on the dark uh, on on an, on a dark web. It's called they are called onion sites, and uh, you can just do your research. You know like you know ten best ten best uh, you know uh, websites dark. Uh, the dark sites over here and uh, just do a little bit of learning about it and um, a lot of articles here are usually useful teaching you a lot of good things about privacy uh, you know as far as uh, uh, the dark web is concerned and um, 
but please stay away from all the illegal stuff so it's okay to 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 to, to learn if you're a student because if i mean you can't you can't be a cyber security student you can't be an ethical hacker if you 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 can't master you know the dark web in and out so so study uh but um stay away from illegal activities and as you can see you can learn a lot about the dot onion website here so see to access dot onion also called tor sites you will need to use a dark net like tor tor developed by the navy it's you know is the largest it's the largest dark net and its name actually and and its name is actually an acronym for the onion router so that's how you got the the tor it's just an acronym for the onion router so do your research you know learn about it and you have a hidden wiki and uh, this is usually uh, like a wikipedia for um, for illegal activities but it's not only illegal activities or illegal you know uh, black markets and all that uh, um, investigative journalism also you know the you know people that are in investigative journalism usually use uh, the dark web too to you know to leak information and whatnot so if you're a journalist and you fear for your life you know for you know for 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 you know a, a, a work that you're currently doing and or a publication you, that's that's you know that's what those are the people that usually are interested also on uh, on publishing on the dark on the dark web so look at this one over here like this one will take you to a database of a scientific scientific knowledge that contains a vast majority of millions of documents based on scientific research here you can find 99 percent of the academic articles produced around the world as the site attempts to liberate information and share it openly so like i was saying you don't have to use the dark web for uh, you know for bad stuff for illegal stuff just be mindful on your studying no end up and don't end up uh, committing crimes and breaking the law so and uh, this is a secure drop it uh, secure drop offers a safe secure communication between journalists and news organizations and their sources mainly whistleblowers taking appropriate precautions perfectly for leaking sensitive information see this is what i was talking about and uh, this is an email proton proton mail is also a very secure you know uh, Swiss-based encrypted email service that allows people to use uh, send email back and forth, you know, uh, confidentially and uh, and uh, and in a secure environment. So, Daniel, let's uh, click this one over here. And as you can see, I clicked it, and it's taking us to a Dot Onion uh, website. And that's what that's uh, this is what I was talking about. The Dot Onion. You want to always see that. And one thing you want to know about Tor is sometimes you may click a site and it just takes you automatically there. Sometimes it doesn't. And other times it does. It's just back and forth because they use a lot of relays. So you might you, uh, the relay that it is on might change the next time you click it. And that's that's what will uh, affect how fast you, you get to it. So if you try going to a site and it's not working, just keep trying again. And you will see you might, you, you might end up just getting, getting to it. And you see it ended up loading. And then uh, you can just go ahead and just, uh, you know, do your research safely and um, being mindful. And see, uh, they even, this is the link, the, a link to the GitHub, uh, to this developer's GitHub uh, page. And uh, you can even use uh, Facebook. You can even use Facebook uh, on, the dark, on the dark web. Because you see, yep, you read it right. Facebook has an official that onion mirror site that's worth a look. Of course, Facebook doesn't have the best track record when it comes to online privacy. So proceed with care. So that means technically, if you click this, it's going to take you to Facebook's that onion site. So, and this is Pro, ProPublica. ProPublica is an online investigative journalism outlet found, founded by the Sandler family. It was the first online publication to win a Pulitzer Prize in 2016 for its for for its for its sexual abuse allegation. I think that's what they tried to say. But yeah, um, 
do your research stay away of the illegal stuff of the uh, of the the black markets that sell illegal stuff if you, if you you're a student you really care about your career your you know your future stay away from anything illegal do your research and um, just know what you need to know and that's uh, that's pretty much it that's uh, I mean, we can just keep we can keep going on and on and on, but uh, I'm not here to show you guys the illegal stuff from the dark web. And the purpose of this video was first to even show you guys how to get co you know Tor connected and uh, and working for you. That's the real reason why I actually decided to do this video. So I'm gonna close. I'm gonna go ahead and close Tor. And um, as a proof of concept, I'll just go ahead and leave my VPN, use my normal uh, internet, and then go try to go back again. And then uh, we run into the same issue. So I'm gonna say connect, and it's gonna be over here trying to establish a relay, and it's not gonna be successful. It's just gonna be hanging just like that, and will never work because the ISP, your ISP, ISP by the way means you know internet service provider. Your internet service provider uh, by you know by default blocked you to go on tour. And that's it for this video. Um, Thank you everyone for your support. I really appreciate all those that are there, you know, liking my videos, commenting, and really trying to, you know, show some love and support. I appreciate it. And if you find this video useful, please like and share with somebody that you know might uh, find it useful. And uh, thank you again. And um, I will see you guys on my next video.